today I'm gonna show you something related to from my game. So I'm gonna show you something like about some villagers have different appearances which can mean that they are transforming to humans or so. So for today, I'm gonna uh, show you on my iPad that I'm gonna record about how are all Animal Crossing have different appearances. Basically, which they use for to have uh, make a sense uh, starting from the contrast, but which were not as mean as if they related to, like if you're gonna make a cartoon uh for that so uh, let's get started and i'm gonna choose which website should i use to describe animal crossing characters as from the appearances okay so this is the website that i'm gonna research for is nukipedia my favorite website for animal crossing so as you can see uh, here are some related topics which are, came from the news, like in the home of this uh, type of the website. As you want to find out, like which are they related to. So that's why for, for this, uh, for these pages, I made this a little bit bigger because I'm using my iPad. All right. So I'm gonna choose some of the villagers what I like and maybe everyone knows what about the typical species that they are up to. So let's see. This is Raymond. He is a smug cat and his birthday is on October 1st. And uh, this is his appearance of Raymond, as you can see uh, from his appearance, like like the his the paragraph, it's kind of a little bit long, kind of, but maybe I can describe it to you shortly. So, Raymond wears glasses. He has uh, eyeballs which are came in different colors, uh, green on the right and brown on the left. Uh, his uh, ears are black and sometimes the inner of the ears are red. He has beige uh, hair which are combing to the uh, to the right. And you might gonna find out that he wears a waistcoat. It's like what you were wearing. So here. You might see this like instead of you're having a necktie for that. All right, let's go for next. Uh, is Kabuki. He is a cranky cat and his birthday is on November 29th. You can see uh, his several appearances in, uh, in the appearance paragraph. So here I can grab it to you what it says. Kabuki. Uh, he has red stripes, kind of like a bit curves. And usual thoughtful designs that they have uh, Japanese patterning. Uh, he also has blue, some of the paints or thing of like this but they it you can see uh his blue paint face paint kind of it smudges a bit and i can see his maroon closer to to his eyes uh he has yellow the outside and uh and a small blue pupils and you can remember his eyebrows like from like how it feels in New Horizons. He can sometimes uh, be uh, mad about this. So that's what you can remember uh, how uh, they are up to feeling like for his uh, personal appearance traits. 
He wears a yukata, a kabuki after yukata in New Horizons. And he wears a fuchsia and beige belt. Uh, kind of looks like a, uh, a kind of it looks like what you're wearing, like a bathrobe, similar to, to this. And that's what uh, we wanna find out more. Okay, so let's go. He, his name is Cephalobot. Uh, his name comes from the word Cephalobot, which came from a meaning of the of his species. His personality is smug, smug octopus, and his birthday is on April first, which is April Fool's Day. That's what he uh. He came to life during the 2-point update of Animal Crossing New Horizons. His chat's phrase, Donk Donk, uh, refers to, to the sound of tapping metal uh, when he's a, uh, when his a jerk mouth kind of looks like what he's speaking to. Okay, so Cephalobot is a robotic octopus and uh, his, uh, he has Two yellow bulbs, which both of them usually as simple as the light, and uh, and written number eighty three on the back of his head, as the picture what is not shown on the front view. So here, in his poster, you might see his professional designs related to that, but that's what he has no clothes on to. Onto his uh his picture. <laughs> All right, let's go for next. So this is Apple. Uh, so usually uh her name evolves as Apple, which came also a fruit. Uh, she's a peppy hamster and her birthday is on September 24th. She is red. She has red cheeks and a bit of pink magenta like on her design of her head which can resembling to an apple. Her eyes are oval. Kind of looks like how hamsters what it wants. They look a bit fat. Their bodies uh then maybe uh or similar to uh to the other villager hamsters personalities and yeah so that's what you gonna find out like like who is she so for the another fruit villager let's go for cherry so this is cherry uh, she is a red dog with teal eyes. She has a gray circle around her left eye. And her ears are black. Even her hands and her legs and, and her bottoms. Her nose, uh, her nose, uh, what is Okay, I'll say it's blue on the base, and the outside of the nose could be rather violet. So here, uh, her ears, um, uh, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, she has white stripe ears on the left, and her eyelashes have six of them, three on the top and three on the bottom, both of them. Her mouth uh, 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 usually curved, but but not on the other side as on the left, which can also know as like how, how people can officially know like who can remember by those of what is Cherry or who is Cherry. She was her web deep. It is black and no variations. And that's what you can see what is up to in common. 
let's go Anka. So this is Anka. She resembles uh, as an Egyptian, kind of like a group of an archaeologist now. So her forehead, that one uh, is simple, like from her headgear was worn by Queen uh, Cleopatra, who was the Helen the ruler of Egypt and she is a navy blue cat with uh with a yellow skin kind of a base of a color so uh in new horizons she wears a palatial pink dress and yeah no variations which can be worn as seen in animals in horizons okay Let's go for it next. This is for a ribbit. His name kind of looks like what frog sounds may ribbit, but it also known as similar as the word ribbon. It's like a bow, like if you want to make something cool. And thus. He is a jock frog, and uh, his birthday is on February 13th, right before Valentine's Day. Her birthday is on September 22nd. May 11th is Carrie's birthday. September 24th is Apple's birthday. Let, let's go back to... Um, okay. He was a light blue simple parka. Yep. And as you can see, uh, he has dark uh, gray stripes and has spots, which refers as to a steel, kind of looks normally. Uh, he has uh, yeah, yellow eye bulbs, which came from eyes, resembling to eyes, and same as cephalobots. But those who can offer concealer like this. And he has the number 59 written in white on the back of his head. Okay, so let's see. His poster. Uh, uh, the number 59 can't be shown uh, in the front view. Okay, let's see who's next. Let's go for Sprocket. Another robot. There she is. Uh, I might even know uh, that Sprocket uh, is metallic orange, but a little of gold. Kind of, I can see brown, like for the steel. Kind of, you can remember like the base on the parts of any other symmetric uh, uh, system designs that useful to make. Her wings are definitely... Uh, blue and i can see is purple like from the outside her eyes uh let's see the green sections that was res that resembles screws not brown so he also has the number four written in orange off the back of his head but in the front view the number four can't be shown uh which came from the u from his user box Okay, so his eyes are definitely electric blue. And you might even know how you can wonder, find out like how uh, villagers were, but which came like, like from the history. His birthday is on December 1st, closer to my birthday. And that's right, if you want to figure it out a little bit more. Let's go for Roscoe. His name's Roscoe. He's a black horse and his hair is blue. Uh, his inside of the ear is purple. And he has gray muzzle and cool gray hoops and a tail. That's it if you can remember like who is he. Uh, his uh, his personality is species, or uh, cranky horse. 
Instead, he's a cranky horse, and his birthday's on June 16th. Let's go uh, for a villager who has the similar appearance as it was related to. This is Renee. She's a horse. She's a black horse. And uh, with a pink lace mane. Uh, I haven't saw that, but it could be around. Light lavender tail, crimson in her ears. Her muzzle is a dark chocolate. Kind of looks cool a bit. And uh, her half-shaped hair that almost completely hides her right eye. Almost hides her right eye. But we can still see. So uh, only Renee has one. And uh, like I said, she has uh, electric blue eyes with a wing liner. Three dots beneath each on the bottom. And yeah, she also has piercings. One on the right ear and two on the left ear. Okay, let's go for one more. You might see this. His name is Sherb. He's a lazy goat. And his birthday is on January 18th. And thus, I... Uh, he uh, is a a light blue goat or a pale blue, which came you remember like light blue and sky blue, and a bit of cool white. Also, you can remember as the lights uh, within close to each sun. He has a deeper blue tuft of le hair leaning to the neck. Yep, he also has black eyes. Uh. Okay, so much like Kid, he does not have a beard. He only has his chin. And does. Oh, yeah. And in his poster, uh, he wears a pajama kind of whether he looks like sleepy. He wears a snowy sweater. He gets cold kind of. Uh, his birthday is usually on a, uh, a little colder month, like on a new year. And so that's why how Sherb's appearance does seem to be look like that to you. Okay, so which Animal Crossing villager... Uh, that uh, you should prefer the most. So uh, there are maybe uh, any kind of typical personalities or would rather than typical species. But in some other words uh, for that, uh, maybe if you have a commission that are, are related to about and some of them uh, you can just know like how you are lucky uh, to which they are related to them themselves. So uh, maybe you can just choose which villager that you like. What I showed you like f for for my recording blog. All right. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you should keep subscribing. Okay. Because so far, I only need like uh, 247 subscribers onto my YouTube channel. So in that case, don't forget to hit the bell. Okay then, see ya, goodbye.